myself, Dr. Anil Kumar, consultant and cardiologist, Vishwas Hospital, Guntur. Today, I want to enlighten you something about uh, hypertension. We all know that hypertension is one of the most common non-communicable diseases, which is associated with a major cardiovascular uh, morbidity and mortality. So a brief introduction about uh, hypertension. It is the blood pressure, or uh, we all know that it is the blood pressure. So it is the pressure exerted by the flowing blood on the sides of the walls. So uh, walls of the arteries. So this is the pressure of the flowing blood on the arterial walls. So sometimes because of this high flow or because of the thickening of the arterial walls, the blood pressure or uh, pressure on the walls of the arteries is uh, higher than normal and we may accept it as a hypertension. So it is of two types, systolic hypertension and diastolic hypertension. So when we measure the blood pressure, the upper uh, part on the numerator part is uh, systolic hypertension and the denominator uh, part is the uh, diastolic hypertension. So one thing we have to see is nowadays uh, because of this uh, lack of physical activity or any other reason, the prevalence of hypertension is increasing at a rapid rate. So when you see these uh, statistics of 2000, and uh, statistics of uh, 2020, there is a rapid increase, nearly 150% rise in hypertensive patients has been observed in the recent past. So there are many causes for hypertension. And uh, one thing uh, which is uh, becoming in these recent years is a lack of physical activity uh, because of these uh, solitary or uh, sedentary lifestyles and because of increase in uh, junk food intake. So these are the two most common factors that are uh, associated with rapid increase in the recent prevalence of this hypertension. So why we have to give more importance to this uh, hypertension is, this is associated with most common cause of cardiovascular mortality and morbidity also. And uh, in addition to this cardiovascular morbidity and mortality, it has uh, many other uh, effects like the uh, formation of uh, end stage renal disease or occurrence of end stage renal disease, a cerebrovascular accidents like uh, strokes, and it has effect on each and every organ of the body. So it is uh, necessary for each and every individual to have a check on their uh, blood pressure uh, levels and have to maintain it under control. So normally, uh, we see this hypertension among elderly individuals, that is middle-aged individuals, between more than 45 years of age. But nowadays, the prevalence of hypertension has been reduced. That means age of uh, incidence has been reduced. And uh, it is commonly seen in, even in mid-30s of the population. So uh, each and every individual has to check their blood pressure controls at least once in a year. And they have to adjust their... Uh, lifestyle modifications are pharmacological uh, control of the hypertension according to their blood pressure levels. So one thing I want to uh, highlight is in the recent past, according to the WHO statistics, nearly 63% of these uh, non-communicable disease the deaths in India are because of this uh, hypertension. And uh, more commonly, these are seen in the middle-aged groups of uh, 40 to 70 years of age. We have to give a high importance to this uh, blood pressure control in addition to this uh, diabetes also. And uh, we have one more statistics is uh, in India, uh, as I told you, the prevalence uh, has been increasing in the recent past and uh, in the same time and the uh, age of onset has been decreased and uh, particularly in the male population. So when you see this uh, cause of this uh, uh, reducing the age of incidence. One thing most commonly we have observed is uh, sedentary lifestyle and change in lifestyle habits like cigarette smoking, alcohol drinking, and uh, eating of high salt content diet. That we these are the most common causes among this population in the recent past. So one thing we, this uh, recent guidelines are saying that uh, previously. Blood pressure, normal blood pressure, they told it as less than 120 by 80. So hypertension levels are, it is more than 140 by 90. So in between these two levels, it is called as a uh, 
uh, prehypertensive group. And now we are labeling it as a uh, altered uh, blood pressure group. And these group are also significant for their pharmacological control because most of these population has been turning up into the hypertensive population. So International Society of uh, Hypertension released guidelines in 2020 that these population have to be uh, regularly scrutinized and uh, they should be maintained for uh, three to six months in non-pharmacological, that is, as a lifestyle modification, that is, diet control, physiological, uh, physical activity, and all those. And they should be screened uh, for three to six months. And if they are well controlled with uh, non-pharmacological therapy, they should be continued on that. And if they are not maintained on that non-pharmacological therapy, they should be simply go into the pharmacological group because of this, many of these people are going to the hypertensive population. So you should be well vigilant on this uh, prehypertension group because uh, this is the main neglected group and uh, these people also won't follow up and uh, they won't uh, have the regular uh, blood pressure checkups. And because of this, uh, they may land up with um, cardiovascular or uh, CNS morbidity and mortality. So every individual of less than 45 years with no atherosclerotic risk factors or cardiovascular, cerebrovascular risk factors, they should be treated with uh, hypertension drugs and blood pressure should be maintained at least less than 130 by 80. So up to 45 years or 50 years, the blood pressure should be maintained at less than 130 by 80. Some elderly population, they can be more than 60 years can be maintained up to 140 by 80. So diastolic blood pressure should be remain less than 89. That means uh, 90, they should not be crossed more than uh, 90. So it should be maintained less than 90. And uh, these blood pressures should be monitored regularly at least once in a month. And uh, they should be, should be treated according to their blood pressure levels. And one more thing I want to highlight is, in the recent past, that means from the last two years, because of this pandemic, uh, most of the people are uh, are converting, are presenting with uh, higher blood pressure levels. One thing is because of uh, lack of physical activity and because of the work stress and that is because of many people are uh, working from the home and because of this work stress and uh, lack of this uh, physical activity, uh, most of the young population, that means uh, uh, less than uh, 35 years are uh, going into the prehypertensive stage and uh, this uh, COVID is also having the higher effect on the blood vessels and uh, higher, higher effect on the blood vessels and it is leading to the top for increasing in the hypertension levels. So uh, we have to uh, be vigilant on this hypertension blood pressure levels for each and uh, every individual. And one thing, uh, each hypertension or patient should not be treated with the pharmaceutical therapy directly. So we, we have to give them non-pharmaceutical therapy for at least three to six months. So I, most probably they can be on physical and uh, dietary management for three to six months. If they are well controlled, they are not able to cope up with the pharmaceutical therapy. Then we can uh, go for pharmaceutical therapy. So one thing, so uh, the blood pressure should be maintained less than 130 and diastole should be less than 80 for most of the individuals so that we can prevent the major cardiovascular and the cerebrovascular illness. Thank you.